so now we are going to jump into curves from the curves so what does it mean by curves from the curves so you already have multiple curves or you already have a sketch uh, that you want to use it in order to create a different curve so we are going to see how this is going to work so now we can see the first option is offset offset is nothing but it is going to create a multiple curves with a offset distance so we'll just select an offset and select this curve so pi is the distance which we have provided and if you click ok the distance between these two will be going to be 5 mm suppose if you need a multi multiple offsets in that case there is an option you can select this and you can see the number of copies so you can just go on increasing here and if you want to increase the distance you can just give it here okay so now every curves will have a 10 mm of distance and the number of curves is going to be 5 mm suppose if you want to make a symmetric on the inside as well so in that case you can just choose the symmetric so it is going to create a curves in the opposite direction as well so now let us move on to pattern so when you go to pattern we have multiple options here count count and span and pitch and span so pitch is nothing but a distance between the two consecutive curves and span is nothing but the distance from the first curve to the last curve and count is nothing but the number of counts that you want so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a simple circle here and i want to pattern this curve along x and y direction in that case you can use the pattern curve so go to pattern and now select the curve and then you want a direction one to be defined so you can just define the direction one so here you can just choose the option that you want so in this case and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a count and span so count I'm, i need is maybe five counts and the span distance is going to be 400 okay and then if you want in the second direction you know if you want to create in a second direction then you can just use the second direction and select this and here also the same thing i'm going to give count and span the count is going to be 5 and the distance is going to be 400 so now you can see if you click ok now you can see the pattern of the curves are being created so similarly if you want to create a circular pattern so in that case what you can do is i'll just delete this and let me create a circle at this some distance and let me go to pattern curves and here also here in the drop down you can go to circular and select this circle and the rotation point along which it should rotate so this is going to be my center point and then you just need to give the count and pitch and count and span whatever you need so i'll just give 360 degree and 12 circles i need it is going to create a pattern so one tip here is whenever you create a pattern we are going to give the number of counts so number of counts when you are giving maybe two whatever the counts that are going to give it is going to consider the origin curves also say for example in this case if we are given 12 so it is considered this as one and then it is created a love and circle so always you need to remember that you are when you are giving a count it is going to consider the origin curve as well so next we will move on to mirror curve so in order to explain the mirror curve i have already drawn a sketch here so you can just go to mirror curve and select the curve you want to mirror say for example this circle i want to mirror and suppose if you want to provide a center line you can choose x and y directions if you want or else you can also choose any existing curve say for example now my existing curve is here suppose if you want to choose this you can choose it and create the mirror curve and you can create the mirror curve but whatever the chosen curve will be there it will be converted into a construction line suppose if you don't want this to create a construction line so in the options you have the option here convert center line to reference you can just switch off this and create a mirror curve in editing the curves we have trim curve and extend curve and then corner so trim is nothing but i'm going to draw a line here and then i'm going to draw a line here i'm going to draw a line here and suppose if you want to trim it you can just go to trim command 
and trim the extended line so trim command is going to trim any kind of lines that are you know intersecting to the next point and extend is going to create the extended line say for example this is the line and if you want to extend this line until the next intersection in that case you can choose this extend and extend this line so if you go to extend line and choose these any of the curves it is not going to extend because there is no intersection exist in the sketch okay so suppose if there is any intersections available like this then again it is going to extend the lines so corner is a command which is used to create a corner either by trimming it or by extending it so now if i go to corner in this case if you want to create a corner both the lines should be extended to meet the intersection so in this case the corner command will extend these two lines in order to create a corner suppose in your case if it is like this and you want to create a corner in that case the whatever the vertical line is there it should be extended and the horizontal line should be trimmed so in this case also you can use the corner and choose the line based on your requirement and it is going to trim and create the corner 